hello everyone in this video i'm going to show you how to add the toggling between this login button and the sign up button and this can be achieved only using html and css and there is no need to use even a single line of javascript and this toggling is done by css using the checkbox so we are doing this if else statements like in javascript using that checkbox so when the checkbox is checked do something if that is not checked do something so we are using that in this so let's get started uh, and let us explore the code here so initially i have these login form and the sign up forms and that is generated with this code this is the html code and the css code here and i will give you the link to that code in the description below so the moment we click on that login this sign up form should be disappeared and this login form should only be visible so to do that here I have the clause that is associated with this login form so I'm making the display to be flex and this sign up form to be none so setting that to none that makes that sign up form to be invisible so let me refresh so here you can see the same thing here so let me show you what I have used to toggle between these so here I have used this checkbox so initially there is no checkbox appearing here so that is because i have hided that checkbox so let me make that visible so i'm making that inline block yeah you can see the checkbox here so here i have this checkbox created to maintain this toggle and i am labeling that checkbox with this login and sign up buttons and we have to make sure the position of the checkbox because uh, we have the topic of combinators in CSS if we want to manipulate anything in CSS uh, using this checkbox then that element should be in relation with checkbox that means here that should be a sibling selector or adjacent sibling selector or a child selector or a descendant selector so here using this checkbox we are hiding this sign up form so it is uh, the sibling selector of this checkbox and we are making this login form visible so it is also a sibling selector for this checkbox so the labels can be anywhere so the moment i click on sign up here the checkbox is checked that means when this checkbox is checked then we are putting some code here to display this sign up form so let us see that code here so when checkbox is checked then that sign up form should be displayed as the flex and when that checkbox is checked then the login form should be displayed as none so this login form should be invisible and this sign up form should be visible the moment this is checked but what if it is unchecked so we have not given what how to happen when that is unchecked and that uh, returns the default values that we have written for those forms that we have so initially for this login form i have set the display to flex and for the sign up form i have displayed to none so they are taking effect when this checkbox is not checked and also you can see when this checkbox is checked this is preventing on clicking this sign up button so when i hover over this login button then the cursor is the pointer but when i hover over this sign up this is not a pointer so that is because i have used a layer that covers this sign up button when this is checked and when this is unchecked that layer uh, will be overlaid for this login button so that uh, is from here so here i have created a div with the class layer and i have applied some styles for it here are they so its background color it is transparent so let me make this red color so that you you can see it so here this block is covering that button and when i click on this this is checked and that 
block is covering that sign up so this uh, the moment of this block can be achieved using that position properties so let me undo this so that is set to be transparent and you can observe the background color for this button so if you see here we have discussed that if there is no relation for this checkbox with some other element we cannot uh, manipulate that other element using this checkbox so here we don't have any relation with login or sign up button but we are manipulating its background and that is because here i am not manipulating the background of these buttons but rather i have created a new layer that is behind these login and sign up buttons and the background for these login and sign up buttons are transparent and that layer is visible for us so here now in this section we have three layers so at the bottom we have this layer 2 that which acts as the background for this button and then we have that clickable button and over that we have a layer that prevents from clicking so the moment i click on sign up the checkbox is checked and those two layers are moved for this sign up button as well and that can be achieved using the positions so the let me show you the code that i used for this layer 2 so this is the code that i have used for layer 2 and its z index property is minus 1 and here the moment the checkbox is checked here i am manipulating the position of the layer and thus i am doing the same thing here and finally i have to hide this checkbox so let me hide the checkbox using this none so now you can see that we have achieved this toggling between login and sign up buttons just using html and css I hope that you have understood something from this video. If you have any doubts regarding this topic, let me know them in the comment section below. And for now, just hit the subscribe button and the like button. Thank you.